This video I'm going to talk about ventilation in your trailer. In my cargo trailer I have these spots where the ventilation vents up above there too. The old ones that were in there was kind of breaking apart and they're really old and they're barely keeping out water. On that one over there I put a plastic thing over it just so the water won't get in and so I've been waiting to find some cheap ones that I could find online. I can't really find used ones that, that are useful for me. The new ones cost quite a bit. I guess they're not that much. They're probably around 30 bucks for the cheapest. I wanted to get a one with, with a really good quality fan up there and I might have to wait a little bit on that because I know at least I want a really good one that can really have some power and suck the air out. That's going to be a major part of keeping this camper cool and also ventilating it for circulation and for keeping uh, fresh air circulating through here. And <clears throat> I'm going to have to find a way to put either vents on the side or on the wheel wells below. You can't really see them with the stuff. Put some ventilation down there, vents that can open up and close. So I'm kind of debating whether or not I want to have windows. That might just be too expensive and too much work because I'm going to have to cut through two different layers of metal and I'm going to have to match that up with the window and, and I'm just not sure if I'm going to do that. So my other option is to just put vents in and uh, have a really good fan up there or a really good fan here as well. I'll show you what I found just today. You know if you're patient enough and that's the name of the game for finding deals is just being patient. I was driving along I was picking up a little part from the junkyard for my car and I and this is what I saw driving by. This is a company next door from the junkyard and it's like a scrap yard and I just saw this camper. I, I knew I was looking for vents and covers for my trailer and I saw this trailer up there and I didn't know what they had it there for and I was assuming that they were going to scrap it so I just went into the office and I asked them uh, about it and you know, the guy in there, he said, well, the owner's son is out there. Why don't you just go ask him? So I just went out there and asked the owner's son about this the, this trailer. And I just said I needed the uh, the vents off of the top. So um, he said I can go in there and take it as long as I got it that day. So I found these and I, I went up there and uh, just saw what else I could scrap off of that trailer and he just said oh 10 bucks per vent i said okay and i found a third one on there too it does have a fan in there but this fan is like really brittle like it's not going to be any good i don't even know the motor probably will work but i just know that the fan won't even be able to spin that well it's just hitting the side and it's all curled up i could replace that and it might be okay it's not exactly what i was looking for as far as a big fan for the you know sucking out a lot of air I think this is right above the bathroom in that trailer I, I might might not use that but at least I found you know really good intact vents I mean they're it looks dirty on top but the uh, you know the crank and everything still works and it it's pretty clean underneath so and this goes under within inside the trailer it goes up. This might be a little tall this part but I could trim it down to where I need it. That looks pretty good. So I just found these random vents. I don't know if I'll use these or not but but I thought that was just a great find when I was I just found an antenna. I have a ham radio so I'm gonna maybe use that for on top. But um and I, I know that these are at least 30 bucks each when they're new for the cheapest ones. These are probably more expensive with a fan. So if I could find a fan, I could maybe repair that. And then these are, I don't know, I, I, I think 30 bucks each uh, when they're new. And I could clean those up. So I saved a bundle of money. I, I gave them 25 bucks for everything. I'm saving quite a bit just by cleaning these up and restoring them.
See, that looks really good after I cleaned it up. You just gotta see the potential under the dirt. Looks pretty new to me. So what I'm gonna try to do with this old stuff that I'm not using, I'm gonna try to just salvage the parts that I'm going to use. And then the, the vents that I'm not using and the covers that are still good, I'm probably gonna just try to sell on Craigslist and I might even get my, the money back that I put into it. So I only put in 25 bucks, so I could probably get close to that back if I just sell the old stuff after I clean it up. When I install those, I'll just do another video about that and then continue making videos about how I'm going to vent this place because this is essentially all sealed in and closed in and that's how I wanted it, but I know I'm going to have to have circulation of air because you don't want just stagnant air in there all the time. I'll try to keep these videos coming just so you know what I'm doing with this trailer. My overall plans are to eventually get a piece of land and, and set this on there and start developing a shipping container. So these videos will have a progression into something else eventually. So we'll see how soon that'll happen.